Hey guys, my name is Alex Akihan, and this is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Sky! Something is going on in my background. Fuck is this? Oh, fuck you! <laughs> okay, that's not the proper intro, but okay. I can't redo it, I thought we do it twice, okay. Uh, in the first ep previous episode, we got to Crystal Lake and met the Time Gear Thief. I did say in the, in the previous episode I'm gonna chain record this, but I can't work this easily. Whatever, moving on. We defeated, we quote unquote defeated Grooville. Oh, are you awake? Should I go? Thank you. Oh, we are. You're in your room and the guilt. You're you're both hurt. You've been sleeping all this time. Uh, what about my friends? Sleeper and Wooper. Are you alright, Laris? Yes. Hey, I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> okay, what am I? I'm gonna take a moment to speak for something here. I finished. I've said this many times. I finished this game a couple of times. I both have a male partner and a female partner. But holy shit! If you have a female partner, it's very fucking. Well, if you're a male and have a female partner, it's like a fucking ship. Remember, I want to take Crystal Lake. It seems like I can't speak again. Oh, that's right, what happened to Azelf? Is Azelf okay? He's fine. For facts compared to you two, his injuries weren't as severe. What happened to us? We were, weren't even dam- I was gonna say barely damaged, but we didn't even get damaged. First of all, I freaking no. Seth Vapor made Grooveel paralyzed, and then defense down, I got him frozen. And then he was even slowed. You were just the fastest around the universe. Not, not that guy over there. But we were. God damn it! So pissed off. Just make it a defeat. Just make it a defeat event. I, I'm, I'm so annoyed with the cutscene. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad you're okay too, Hexalers. I should let the guild know you're awake. Everyone. Uh, I just, I just had a fucking train of thought. Chimiko, uh, clinked her bell, her because it's of she, and she can literally talk to the entire guild. You see, at first I thought like there's no way she can do that. She has a bell, but I just remembered Chimiko is a psych type, fucking telepathy. Holy shit! Hey, our room. Nicole at Tick Trio, what did you do? Really awesome! Oh my gosh, that's wonderful news! Ooh, I'm mighty glad. If anything would have happened to you all, I. I. Ooh. You guys are getting so emotional about this! Oh, that's right! There's something I need to tell everyone! Hey, hey! And what would that be? Is it Grim Villain? Oh, you're right here. What? What did you say? You're saying that the Great Dustlord and Grivel Stop praising that... T stop! They may have known each other from before all this? Yes, it sounded that way when they were already getting into fight. Well then, what became of Dustlord? Well, Grivel escaped. I think he went after the thief. What? The emergency siren? Hey, Diglett! What's the matter? It's the letter from Magnemite! I'm told it's an Egemensic call sent out by Officer Magnezone. Deputy Magnemite, please shout out, please shout your message down to the center post. Please speak clearly. Bzz, can you hear me? Bzz, this is about an important and for from Officer Magnezone. Everyone, please gather at the main square inside your town. He will have a major announcement to make at, to make to everyone. All Pokemon in the area have been called for this town meeting, not just those in the guild. That is all you, we hope for your cooperation, thank you. I wonder what, what this is about. And more than us, man, what might it be? Hey hey, no point in wondering, let's go get the answer. Hey hey, let's get a move on to Treasure Town's main square. And we're there. 
Chapter 13, that's lawyer's secret. I fucking told you he has a secret. Oh. Two of three late guardians are here. What? Fucking cool as shit. Oh look, the guild members. Hello. So the guild's Pokemon were even called. For them to be called, something serious must be happening. Myself. Lucy! Fast You alright? You're not hurt? Yep, I'm okay. But I'm here. It's the Crystal Lake. We'll be safe there without your protection. It can't be sold. Yep, it'll be safer now. The time we are spent by the encasing cover of crystals. Selling it won't be easy. But that means it's possible. Oh, that's nice, sir! Ah, full place and lures. You are safe. I am so relieved, you fucking liar. That's nice, sir. I'm glad to see you're back too. Thank you for saving us. So, what's ha what happened? What happened to Groovil? What became of him? I gave chase to Groovil, but he slipped away from me. Um, that's nice, sir. Back at Crystal Lake, when you were fighting Groovil. That's nice, sir. You and Groovil seem to know each other. What was... I, I, if I may interrupt, Zzz. the great answer plans to explain what he knows, and that topic will be included. Now, everyone, gather around, please. Uh. Golly, I wonder what this all what this all could be about. Who knows? Don't ask me. <laughs> I like how we and Fulbex talking to the trio. Everyone is here, so I'd like to get this meeting started. Our topic, the rash of Time Gear thefts. Several Time Gears have been stolen by the Pokemon Groovil. In the regions where a Time Gear has been stolen, the flow of time has become essential. This is a serious problem, as I am sure you can guess. Groovil failed. Failed to steal a Time Gear. This one was protected. And the hero who protected it was the mighty Azelf. And the hero who saved Azelf and Joseph Griville. That would be the great that's not right here. This is why I prefer a goddamn defeat event. Than a goddamn defeat cutscene! Because I have proof that I've won against Griville. And I have two witnesses. Three even with Azelf. Or with full pack, so I'm pushing it. I mean, since. <laughs> mm. I was in back the zone. I just fucking realized. If I'm going to fight Dasnoyer, I have to keep bite. Or at least crunch. I'm sorry to interrupt. Perhaps I should explain from here. Of course, please take it from here. <coughs> Excuse me. Everyone, while well, we should be happy that we protected Time Gear this time, the fact is, Griffith remains at large. Therefore, we cannot afford to feel safe and secure. Griffith will most certainly make another attempt to steal the Time Gear. There is another matter that is tied to all of this. There is an extremely important matter that I must share with you. I would like to explain it to you now. First, Earlier, Fulpex asked me the following question. Did I know Griffil from here before all this happened? That is correct. I do know Griffil from before all this. What? What am I about to say? Maybe beyond your belief. But this only happens to be the truth. Furthermore, if I if what I am about to reveal is then stopped, calamity is certain. I, therefore, ask for your undivided attention. First, Griffil is Griffil is a Pokemon that came here from the future. F future? Dan, what does he mean by from the future? I think he means from a place where things are yet to happen. But is something like that possible? A Pokemon coming from the future? Griffil, in the world of the future, he will be a notorious criminal. He has a large bounty on his head. To avoid capture in the future, he fled and in fleeing, escaped in this, the world of the past. 
After arriving in this time, Grivel plotted, until he hit upon a, an utterly catastrophic plan. W what is that? What, is, what was his plan? It was nothing less than causing the planet's paralysis. The planet's paralysis? Yes. If a planet becomes paralyzed, all movement upon it ceases. When a time gear is removed, the flow of time slows in its region. Slows or paused? As and many more are taken, the time slows in an ever larger area. Eventually, the planet's flow slows down so much that it stops entirely. Ultimately, the planet reaches a state of total paralysis. If the planet is paralyzed, what happens to this world? In a world where the planet has become paralyzed. No winds blow. The day never comes. Neither spring nor summer ever comes. It's a world of unrelenting darkness. It would be no exaggeration to call it the complete ruin of the world. The, the world's ruin? Is that what's, what happens if the time years are taken away? The way time has been going on out of control lately. That too is caused by the thefts of the time years. If the time years continue to be stolen, this world will end in ruin. S so that's what would happen. This is bad. W we've got to do something. Hey, hey, I have a question. There's something I don't understand. Yes, what is it? I understand that we've got a big problem on our hands. But what I don't understand, well, hey, it's about you, Dastar, yes, sir. Why, why do you know so much, Dastar, yes, sir? I mean, I know that the great Dastar is knowledgeable and wise. And sure, I really respect you and all, but how would you know in the future, no matter how knowledgeable you are? That's true. Come to think. Ah, yes, what the corporate shot makes perfect sense. Under normal circumstances, it's true, there is no way that I should know these things. So why do I know these things? It's because I too am a Pokemon from the future. I mean, I'm I'm one too. Is there is another Pokemon from the future? My gosh, and golly, this is all so complicated, it's making my head spin. My objective is to capture Gruvel. It is for that, that for that reason that I came from the future. I needed to know as much as possible to ensure the capture of Gruvel. I therefore studied everything I could about this world while in the future. That is why I know so much about this world. Why didn't you say anything before? I... I'm sorry. I have felt terrible not saying anything. I am sincerely sorry for not revealing my identity. I am full of contrition. But what if I had been open about my identity from the very start? Makes sense. Like, it does make sense if he said it. He would have taken me seriously. Yeah. Also, I need my to avoid learning Grooveville to my presence. I decided that I should keep my identity hidden while I went about with my work. It makes sense. But it is also a fact that I have been deceiving you for keeping silent about my identity. I sincerely apologize. No, no, oh, no, no, no. Please, don't apologize. You can't blame yourself. You have no choice. I concur. The story has done nothing wrong in my book. We should focus on our ang we should focus our anger on Grivel. He must somehow capture him. Yeah, we're in deep trouble if we let Grivel go on. We need to catch him before the world gets ruined. That's right, sir. I'll be glad to help. M me too. By golly, me too. Hey, hey, cut me in. We'll cooperate as well. I refuse to remain a victim. We won't let him steal another one. Everyone, thank you so much. We, as Pokemon, must all work as one. Groovil is a Pokemon. The captured Groovil. Then put an end to Groovil's calam calamitous plot. Yeah, I never heard this song before. Wait, no, no, no! This is from a dungeon! It is! It's from a dungeon! Let's open the time gear from Crystal Lake. Grivel knows that he has to defeat me. So if he's still after my time gear, Grivel will come after me. We could turn it against him. Mr. Azulf and I can go to Crystal Lake. 
then we can all spread rumors claiming that we have gone to steal the time gear so that it can never be taken. If we did that, would you think it would prefer Grivel to strike? I see, you're suggesting that we bait a trap. Yep. But that would mean exposing you to danger as the bait. I'd like nothing more. If that means stopping Grivel, we really just take that risk. Then I understand. Everyone, let me explain our plan. Please pay attention and do your part. First, I would like everyone to spread a rumor far and wide. Get the word out about the three Pokemon, Uxie, Mispit, and Azelf. Spread the word spread word that the trio has returned to Crystal Lake to steal the time gear away. Please spread the rumor as much as possible. I see, so you want word of this three to reach Griffil's ears. That's correct, but Griffil won't be convinced by rumor alone. That is why I must ask the trio of Uxie, Mispit, and Azelf to do something. I must ask them to actually go to Crystal Lake. I get it. Then the when Griffel shows up to find Azov and the others, that's when we can catch him. I get it now. Oh my gosh, I'm all fired up with excitement. Arrest, arrest. Hey, hey, I'm going it. I'm going to be the one to catch Griffel. No, it is my duty to catch criminals. Yeah, we're supposed to help, not catch. I, want, I don't want to get outdone by the others. So we're our best still, Lars. I'm sorry, I'm grateful for your kind offers. But for the kitchen of Griffith, I would prefer to work alone. But pardon? Why? Griffith will be extremely wary. Even if he were to realize that Azelf and the others do have truly gone to Crystal Lake, he'll be cautious in the extreme. So if we were to lay a massive ambush for him at Crystal Lake, he will undoubtedly notice the unusual number of Pokemon in the area. I'm afraid Griffith will not be lured out by Azelf and the others that way. So I must apologize and insist on capturing Griffith by myself. Oh, I see. That's too bad. I'm terribly sorry, Fulpix. This time, I hope to capture Griffin without any mistakes. Please forgive my selfishness. That's how it stands, guild members. Up to now, we were captured in Griffin. Yep. Ah, that's not something you, you have to do. At least that was the plan. This time, stay out of it. We'll provide support only as needed. Well, hey, hey. If that's what it takes. We have to a choice? Is that an acceptable plan? Guildmaster? Yep, yep! Thank you for confirming that. Whew, I stayed awake, thank goodness! Thank you for hearing me out, everyone. I realize I am asking a huge favor, but please do your part in our plan. And let's get the Griffin using whatever means necessary. Yeah! I just fucking realized! 18 minutes just got seen. And thus, the story and the trio of Uxi, Mesmet, and Azelf set off the Crystal Cave. In the meantime, the other Pokemon busied themselves, spreading rumors that Azelf and the others were about to steal the time gear away. And as for those Pokemon from Wigglytuff's guild, that's the current situation. Until everything is resolved, we ask that you go about your original duties. Yes, they would like to spread the rumor as much as possible. That not so much that they would make you feel suspicious. Try to be natural. Go about the jobs in the usual manner. And, when possible, spread the rumor. Yes, that is why we would like you to do you for the to do for at least the next few days. Fill our days, of course. That is all. Alright everyone, let's have another good day of work. Hooray! Alright, what's our job? Fucking done. Oh, the feds! Special episode to this. Oh my gosh, has been unlocked. Hmm. Special episodes! I haven't done those! Shit. Talking about those. Diary time! Yes. Inspiration back home. Oh my gosh, that's not here. Back home. We just got back from expedition now. Oh my god, am I exhausted? Ooh, this mission left a big impression on me in every way. Special inside the Fogbound Lake. Oh my gosh, it moved in maze. I cannot express. Oh, but if I want to more details, I've read this. Okay, next stop, 10-11. Uh, groove. Oh, that's not here. If my story came to our guild. And 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 he been staying treasure town for a while. I could talk to him. He's wise and cautious and handsome. 
What the fuck? What the fuck is so handsome about that fucking son of a bitch? Uh, no sleep. Ugh, I'm feeling funky for not getting my fair share of sleep. I share my room with Lotus and Corpish, but lately Kurogong's taking to slipping into our room for some shut eye every so often. Well, that Kurogong usually bets down by that swap car cauldron of his. But lately he's taking to sleeping here. The other day I was surprised to find Kurogong sleeping nearby by calling. And he murmured, <laughs> Morning there, Bidoof. I mean, I don't want my day to be start to start that way. Then she put a scare in me, and now I can't sleep because that girl might want to hang out again. P.S. The girl that's I'm sure is mighty wise. Not only that, he knows he shows respect to everyone, even me. My colleague, you have to respect someone like that back. Okay. This a girl that night. Thanks to Grogong, I haven't been able to get a good night's sleep lately. There's nothing to do if you're awake at night, so I took a stroll through the grill. I closed the full back to Lars's room, but they were in deep sleep. I wouldn't mind about me, but not full picks. No, no, sir. I reckon they must be excited from my daily training. Yep, yep. I think the Kimekos and Swan's Lars would have been, that'd have been downright rude. What about full picks at me, you bitch? Oh, they already want me to peek? Yep. <laughs> and uh, sure I can't do that, just not then. Who could leave that down? I mean... No, 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 no not me. I think the Gunman's room was too scary, so I gave that a pass and kept nosing around elsewhere. Oh, that chat out by golly, that one keep me quite the start. But anyway, why do you reckon the chat out sleeps at night? This... ladder. Surprise, surprise, it sleeps on the top rung of the guild's entry ladder. When I crept nearby, he thought I was trying to run away by golly. So he wildly attacked me. I'm still sore all over from that, my gosh. Crystal Cave surely lives under his name, being full of crystals and all. It surely was a pretty place. It was there, but I couldn't help helping myself to a crystal. It's my own precious treasure. But when everyone found out about it, all I got was a bunch of grief. Well, this entire episode has been nothing but cutscenes. Uh, hi. Okay. Hmm. I think I have some boxes. I think I'm gonna open those and just end the episode. Uh, before that, we talk to everyone. He's more skilled? Motherfucker! That rumors are. Those rumors are a bitch. Okay! Sorry, dear, but you have to stand by. Uh, we need to set pay to open the box. Okay, so uh, uh, I'm gonna take a quick look. Do we have a job list? Which of us? Mountain Bristle. Ah, shit! Okay, let's open these boxes. And then I'll end, I'll end the episode. Yes. Uh, glittery box. Oh uh, no, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I see info. Something, but won't give it to us easily. Huh? You don't like a rarity to these boxes. Oh, the M! Uh, now it's the same. Yeah. How is it? K-Bite Claw! Nice. Garfang? Glass. That's shitty. All right. First off, I see. Good. Huh. 
Ah! Well then. Cool. Okay, okay, if I have saved, I can go too. Alright, I'm gonna end the episode here. It's been a while, after all. So, in the next episode, and uh, I'm not gonna show some filler days. I've learned from my mistakes. I'm not gonna do that again, forever and ever. In the next episode, we're gonna see what will happen. My prediction is that something's gonna happen with that fucking Dustner Ghost again. But well, I'll see you guys next episode. Goodbye!